Hi, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, please consider subscribing right away so that you can get notification about any new video I post on this channel. In this video, you will learn how to create an easy flipbook animation in PowerPoint. In fact, this flipbook animation is going to be created using one of the native transition effects in PowerPoint. And the way the animation looks is like this. As you can see here, we show our page one of our book here and we leave the other one blank. Then on a click, the page one opens up to show page two, which is the behind portion of page one. And then we have page three here. On a click, we show the back of page three, which is page four and page five. Once you learn the basic technique, you can always extend this to create a really long presentation which presents itself like a book. Let me show you how easy it is to create this animation. Here I am on a new slide and a new presentation. The first thing I'm going to do is to draw a line which is vertical. So I'm going to hold the shift button down as I draw a straight line. And then I'm going to go to the home tab arrange and say align and align center. So that puts this right in the center of the slide. This divides the slide into two equal halves. Now let me go to auto shapes gallery, pick up the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle that covers one half of the slide. Now I can use this half to build my slide. If I want to stick a photo, or if I want to write my text, whatever that I want to do, I can do here. And then I'm going to leave this part blank. Now I'm going to go to shape outline and say no outline and I'm going to choose a very different color for this one. Let us choose something like say this orange color. And then let us go to shape fill, go to gradient and use this one called as linear right. So you can see that this is darker here and lighter here. That is how any book would be. And then let us mark this as say the cover page. And let me increase the size say to around 32 so it's easy for us to see. And then I'm going to remove the line that I drew earlier. As you can see here, I selected that line and I'm going to delete it. Now I'm going to duplicate the slide. This time I'm going to make one more copy. So I'm going to press control D and then I'm going to place this one to the left. And this time I'm going to choose a much lighter orange color to represent the backside of the page. So I'm going to select this and choose one hue lighter than the one that I had chosen earlier. And then I'm going to go to shape fill, go to gradient and I'm going to choose this one called as linear left. And let us call this page one. And this one needs to be in a different color. So let us go here and choose say the green color. And once again, go to gradient and say linear right. And let us have this as page two. So we have got our page one on the left hand side and page two here. It is up to you, whatever you want to have on one side and the other side, you can decide very easily. Then I'm going to right click and duplicate. This one is the lighter version of the earlier color. So it has to be a light green like this. And I'm going to have gradient and linear left. And then let us have this as say page three. And this one can, can be page four. And you can choose a different color like say this blue color and then gradient and linear right. You can keep on continuing with this and the way that we are going to apply transition to these is leave the first one out and then select the second one and hold the shift button down and keep selecting all the other slides that follow that. You can keep continuing this effect to build a really long slide deck. The way we are going to apply transition effect to the slide deck is to select one of the slides here in the thumbnail view and then press control A to select all the slides and then hold the control button down as you select the first one. So that way the first slide is deselected and rest everything else is selected in the deck. Then let us go to transitions and choose one of the simple transitions called as page curl. And that is how the transition works. Now 
Let us go to the first one and go to the slideshow. This is the cover page. On a click, page 1 and page 2, page 3, page 4 and the whole effect keeps continuing. It's a very interesting way to tell your story. You can have beautiful pictures on one side and the corresponding explanation on the other and so on. What you can do with this effect is limited only by your imagination. What I showed you is just one simple capability of PowerPoint to make your presentation interesting. If you want to explore the full power of PowerPoint by going through all the tools and how they can be used creatively, then I highly recommend that you check out our Udemy course called Complete PowerPoint 2016 Masterclass and Office 365. This is a comprehensive course with more than 13 and a half hours of on-demand video. I recommend that you check out this course. In the description box below the video, I am going to give you a special coupon that gives you a massive discount on this course. So please check out this course, apply the coupon and take advantage of one of the most comprehensive courses on PowerPoint available on Udemy. And if you want to receive exclusive PowerPoint tips and tricks that I share only with my email subscribers, please click on the link here and join our newsletter called Success by PowerPoint. The tips and tricks that I share with you in the newsletter are so simple that you can follow them in your next presentation. So please click on the link here and join our newsletter and I will see you inside.